very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we just wanted to share with you the results of the last week of the forex signals group from extreme trader this is the page on telegram as you can see Friday we managed to finish that day alone with more than 300 and 50 pips of profit delivered to our clients i mean really it's amazing look at these results all of them in positive except only for euro pound close with 25 pips of loss against more than 50 20 50 100 um the profits are really everywhere as you can see uh, that is i'm leaving for you the results you can check it by yourself so as you can see most of the signals 90 percent of them have reached the take profit levels and I'm still going up and as we can see many signals have reached their take profit levels pound CHF 100 pips of profit cat CHF 100 pips of profit as well and the DCHF 60 pips of profit so as we can see the signals really doing so well Angela have made it again and she kept the promise to the clients and it's uh, keeping the brand name of extreme trader up to the expectations and up to the skies look at that uh, these uh, messages that we have received from the members i'm so proud of these messages actually it it motivates us to give more and it it's helping us to keep uh, our work um, keep going signals was awesome and no comments keep your good work cheers for the weekend uh, you smashed it again today angela you are on fire and thankfully yes she's on fire and the signals were really awesome as usual and thank you angela for making me so proud of our signals and making all the clients happy in the group so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so before we start the video I, it's very important to mention something here my friends this video is titled as weekly forex analysis it's not weekly forex signals all right so the whole purpose of this one is to show my expectation and prediction for the movement on the market this week and i'm advising that we can start shorting or selling the pair at this level and take profit right here however that doesn't mean that these signals are gonna last for the whole week there will be some economic news there will be some events that can actually change the direction of the market you need to pay attention to these things i cannot do everything in one video for example this week i'm expecting for um, the pound to fall at that resistance level and we can keep the trade running until it hit that take profit level right here that is my expectation for this week on the pound usd but yet however if we go to the economic news the upcoming news on thursday are gonna be major news and as we can see 3 p.m dubai time uh, 11 a.m gmt time the pound is gonna receive the mpc and the mps news and the and the official bank rate these are going to actually make a major or high uh, volatility movement on the pound pairs all of the pound pairs so this news right here it actually might change the analysis for the pound usd so you really need to pay attention to this news they can change all of the analysis guys at any moment also uh, Thursday as well we can see that we will have the unemployment rate for the AUD at 5.30 a.m. Uh, Dubai time 1.30 a.m. GMT time so again we need to pay attention to the AUD signal it might not be valid at that time so this whole purpose of this video is educational purpose and if I just want to post the signals alone um, I will just post the analysis on uh, tradingview.com or somewhere uh, or post the pictures on Facebook and that's it the whole purpose of this video is educational purpose and I'm just taking so much of my time just to explain to you the principles of Forex and how to understand how this beautiful market works so please when you see these signals don't follow them uh, don't follow them blindly I'm just giving you the forecast for the technical view right now at this moment right now I'm expecting for the euro USD after reversing at this support level uh, the euro USD is going to continue rising until it hit that resistance on 1.13068 which was a previous resistance right here and then it's going to fall all the way actually I'm expecting for the euro USD to continue falling all the way until it hit that previous support at 1.10320 However, just to make sure everyone is going to make uh, good profit, hopefully, if the signals uh, went uh, in my expectations, 
uh, I just set the take profit level to be at that previous support level. And uh, the safe box, as we can see, is at the top of that resistance level. Uh, the first thing we can notice here is we had a double top on the Euro USD, and we can see that we had these two uh, bearish candles. And these are good uh, indicators for a continuation in the bearish momentum. Now, actually, if the market is going to continue rising and hit that resistance level, then reverse, that's going to be great because we will have right now head and shoulders pattern, which we can rely on and the market is going to continue the fall. Not only that, but if we also look at the weekly candles, uh, the market has closed at what seems a pin bar and therefore I believe this week the euro USD is going to be in a bearish momentum and is going to continue the fall at least to hit our take profit level. Again, please pay attention to the news. Um, the retail sales on um, Tuesday actually it might change the direction of the USD. So we need to pay attention to that detail. So that is my expectation for the Euro USD and hopefully it's gonna work and we will make good profit out of it. Moving now to the Pound USD. The Pound USD is actually very similar. As we can see, we had the market has made this uh, bearish momentum or the bearish breakout of that support level. And we're having right here also a previous resistance. What it seems like the market is gonna continue rising a little bit retesting that broken resistance and then gonna continue <coughs> the fall sorry about that <coughs> um, same for the euro usd i'm expecting for the pound usd to actually continue falling all the way until it hit that previous support level uh, the momentum is strong this week i think and uh, you and the pound usd is going to continue the fall so as you can see this is what i'm advising you uh, to, st to start shorting the pound usd at one point 26006 and our safe box is going to be ranging for almost 61 pips and uh, please pay attention that you can keep your trade running as long as it's inside this safe box and you can close the trade with the loss only if you see the market has actually um, um, if you see the candle closed as a bullish breakout candle above the safety box please guys i need to remind everyone again the the edge of the safe box is not a stop loss that is a stop loss no it's not a stop loss all right it's just a safe box telling you that if the market has closed above that resistance level then you need to close the trade with the loss don't close the trade just because the market reached this level because uh, there is a very high chance that it's gonna reverse immediately after touching that level so we can keep the trade running for almost 114 pips hopefully gonna be in profit and hopefully uh, the market is gonna follow this analysis now moving on to the AUD USD for the AUD USD as we can see we have on the daily candles the market has made so many attempts to break out of that resistance and we can see the rejection was very strong and eventually on Thursday on Thursday let me just delete that Thursday has ended as this strong bearish candle which has actually went down all the way to that previous support level and now the market closed on Friday arranging between that support and resistance what we are seeing right now um, after the closure below that breakout candle let me just uh, remove this one so we can see that we are having right here a resistance level and we're having right here the bearish breakout candle I'm expecting that the market on Monday opening, Monday morning, uh, gonna rise a little bit, hit that previous resistance, and then gonna continue falling to create the next attempt of the support. So we are having right here a support one, and the market is gonna continue falling to create support number two. Actually, that's a possibility. However, I believe that the market after hitting that previous resistance is gonna continue the fall all the way until it hit that previous support uh, sorry previous resistance level right here so again the signals are gonna be last for short term hopefully they're gonna be valid until the next midweek analysis video when i can give uh, new fresh signals above the signals so uh, this is my expectation for the uh, AUD USD. again same thing for the pound USD and euro USD. this is your safe box and uh, the safe box we can see uh, it's ranging between 62 pips 
and again uh, you can expect the market to be ranging inside this safe box but please don't set this one as your stop loss at all guys all right most likely the candles are gonna hit that previous resistance as well and then it's gonna start the reversal moving now to the USD CAD now for the USD CAD as we can see we had the pattern of double bottom and the momentum the, the bullish momentum was really strong what we are seeing right now is just a pullback and therefore I said that we can start buying the USD CAD once the second attempt of the support is completed so we already have here a support number one and the market is going to continue falling hopefully to create a support number two and that is going to be our chance to start buying the USD CAD and we will keep the trade running until it hit that previous resistance level and again I'm expecting for the USD CAD to continue rising until it hit that previous resistance level however the signal was given for the short period so it's like that I'm expecting for the USD CAD to move like this and therefore let's just set the, our take profit level at the nearest resistance and that could be 141 pips of profit of course we need to pay attention also to the safe box because we are having right here also a previous support level and if the market is actually has actually reached that previous resistance and reversed that will be very great because we are going to have uh, a reversed uh, head and shoulders which means that the market is going to continue rising all the way until it hit that previous resistance so this is my advice uh, for the USD CAD this week that we can start buying the USD CAD at this level 1.35251 keep your trade running for almost 146 uh, pips of profit so let's move now, right now to the USD CAD and it's very similar as well to the sorry USD CHF I'm sorry so moving to the USD CHF is also very similar to the USD CAD it's very simple this week for the USD CAD as we can see we're having right here a previous support level and seeing this strong bullish uh, bullish uh, breakout candle we can expect the market after the reversing from that previous support level and creation of the new resistance uh, we can expect the market to fall down hitting that previous support level and that support is going to keep its position as a support and the market is going to continue the rising until it hit that previous resistance level so as you can see uh, the safe box is going to be ranging for almost uh, 60 pips as well and I really don't think the market is going to go below that support level uh, looking at the daily candles we can see that Thursday has closed as a bullish uh, pin bar which is really great uh, price action for the bullish reversal so we can keep the trade running on the USD CHF this week most likely the take profit is going to be uh, approached and we can look for almost uh, 150 pips of profit I think yeah 150 pips of profit this week on the USD CHF we can start the buy at 0.94818 and the take profit at 0.96327 now let's go to the USD GPY for the USD GPY actually let's go to the daily candles and what we are seeing right here is very interesting we can see that the market has made the bullish reversal after hitting that previous support level um, it made what seems like a fake breakout on Thursday however Friday the pound the GPY has managed to close above that uh, previous support level that leads us to look at the 4 hour chart and right now we can see that the market has created this key support level right here and here and what we can see right now is this sub, uh, this resistance level is uh, has been respected as well the market has made uh, its, its um, the rise until it hit that previous resistance now I'm expecting for the USD GPY to make one pullback and that support is going to keep its position as a support and we can buy the, the USD GPY exactly at 106.985 uh, please be, be, be very careful when you are buying the USD GPY because as you can see um, it's very subjective to the news about the economic war between USA and uh, China uh, especially now with the COVID-19 uh, vaccine being developed by China so we need to be uh, paying more attention for the, how we are dealing with the USD GPY what you are seeing right here is just the weekly analysis or sorry the technical analysis 
Uh, however, please pay attention to the news. It's very important. What I'm say, what I'm seeing right here, is a reversal from the resistance, and a potential pullback, and then the market is gonna continue the rise until it hit that strong resistance level right there. Now moving to the gold, which I have actually spent a lot of time analyzing. Uh, gold this week is uh, gonna continue the rise. However, not immediately, not right now. Uh, let's go to the weekly candles and let me just get rid of these because they are annoying so going to the weekly analysis the weekly candle on the gold we can see that the gold has actually made the reversal from that support level which tells me that we can expect uh, on the upcoming uh, weeks a continuation and the rise on the gold however that is definitely not gonna happen right away if we go to the daily candles we can see that the market has closed at this pin bar and we are seeing that this resistance level the market did not even close for once above that resistance level therefore what we can see right now on daily candles that we can start short the gold right here and then it's going to continue falling at least to hit that previous support level after that the gold might actually be really good for the buy however it's not yet determined what I am almost hundred, not almost hundred percent. I mean, what I'm almost sure about is that the gold is gonna fall at the opening on Monday morning, and is gonna continue falling at least to hit that previous support. It might fall a little bit more to hit that previous support level right here. Uh, I think after that, the gold is gonna continue the rising. It's very less likely that the gold is gonna continue rising right away because the gold is actually subjective to the news as you can as you know already guys uh, they have delayed the the opening of economy for another uh, i think few another week or two weeks so this delay of opening the economic will definitely affect the gold and therefore we can expect the gold to fall immediately at the opening on monday morning um if they announce that the economy will be opened again uh, immediately, then that might help the gold to recover and to rise. However, so far with the current situation, the gold don't have much uh, chances, chances for any recovery. Therefore, I'm sending the signal this week to start shorting the gold for a short period as well, only to hit that previous support level. So please be very careful when you are trading the gold. Let me go to the 30 minute time frame. And as we can see, uh, actually, I need to increase the take profit level to be right here at that support level. And uh, therefore, we can expect uh, the gold to range inside this safe box uh, to hit that previous sub, uh, resistance level uh, before it finally go down. And actually, to be honest with you, I'm expecting the gold to fall down immediately and hit the sub support level exactly on Monday. I think it's going to happen very soon before we start uh, buying the gold again. So let me just uh, correct these levels for the buy, uh, sorry, for the uh, sell, like that. All right, so let me just correct them again, like that, all right. So this is my signal for the gold this week. We can start actually shorting the gold right away. If you want, you can start shorting the gold immediately, or if you want, you can wait for it to reverse for a few pips to hit the perfect entry and then keep the trade running until it hit that previous support level and hopefully it's gonna be in profit I believe if everything went well and they announced the uh, in USA of course the open of economic uh, economy again we can start buying the gold if I'm not mistaken we can start buying the gold actually at that support level right here if they announced that and if the gold made immediate recovery until then this is going to be the signal for the gold that is my expectation for how the gold dollar is going to move and then i hope uh, it's going to work out and hopefully everyone is going to make good profit this week from uh, these analysis so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching